Ariel, I'm blessed to have been able to love you many times and in many ways. I love the person you were back when we first knew each other, the free, joyous person who feels the depth of her conviction so fiercely. It's surprising, or really not that surprising if you know Ariel, that the first time I remember meeting you, you were dressed as a narwhal at the, at the freshman volleyball game. <laughs> And I remember studying with Carly, and you came dancing through the hall and over the tables just because you felt like dancing. <laughs> I don't remember what music you were playing, or if there was even music playing at all. <laughs> I loved and admired the freedom you showed to be yourself so authentically. I never knew how to express myself to you then, but in losing the chance to know you more deeply then, I gained something that is so rare and so precious in life. The chance to The chance to really want something, to have to let it go, and then, in an instant, to be given back everything you hope for and more. When we reconnected years later, I know that I probably didn't wait long enough to try to see you again, and I certainly didn't wait long enough to ask you to be my girlfriend. <laughs> but I could so clearly see that you're even more than what I thought you were back then. You're the person you are now. You're kind and you're open, you love people with abandon. You carry this light with you into every room and every life you walk into. It's funny, but one of the ways that I knew you were exactly what I needed is that I have fond memories of us laughing together in the midst of all the stress and confusion when we had to spend the first night of our vacation in Mexico at the Dallas airport. <laughs> and so, I love the person you were, I love the person you are, and I will love the person you will become as we grow together. I promise to be in awe of you, like I was watching you dance through the hall. I promise to treasure you, like I did when you broke back into my life. And I promise that we will face every obstacle that comes our way without taking ourselves too seriously and with laughter all along the way, forever and always. Parker, you've taught me so much about myself and about life. You're the most patient man. Lord knows I need that. <laughs> I admire your quiet yet unassuming understanding, your benevolence, <laughs> your curiosity for life, your intelligence. You have such a different perspective than I do and I love your ability to have empathy for others. You love your family and your friends so fiercely and you take pride in knowing them. You invest your time genuinely in the people that you care about. And I have grown so much and have just been invested in so much because of that. How deep you love for me. I've learned so much about myself through our relationship and by the way you embrace me fully. You love me despite my shortcomings and my insecurities. I've been able to love myself more because of your Christ-like love. No one has ever known me more fully and loved me so wholeheartedly. I feel so loved and so known by you and that is such a gift. I'm not sure of the exact moment that I knew that I loved you, but I remember slow dancing in the kitchen of your 400 square foot apartment <laughs> and envisioning this day. It was early on in the relationship, but I just knew. And I would close my eyes and imagine our first dance. You know how to make me belly laugh. Osa <laughs> peligrosa. <laughs> Your humor is one of the most attractive qualities. You are so silly and 
I laugh just thinking about you dancing down the hallway, <laughs> wiggling your hips, <laughs> which you wouldn't want anyone else to know about. <laughs> <laughs> walking down to the office <laughs> you are able to bring levity in the hardest of times and nursing school applying to jobs being my ghost rider applying to jobs <laughs> and working through a pandemic I've definitely just leaned on you as my rock we've survived so much and it's a lot of because of your ability to bring lightness in a world of dark. I couldn't do any of this without you. And I'm so truly blessed by you. Charles Parker Horn. I promise to grow together and continue to have hard conversations. I promise to push you towards your goals. I promise to be there when life is difficult. I promise to celebrate the big and the small victories. I promise to stock your saltine cracker hoard <laughs> and wash your holy socks, <laughs> even though I swear I throw all of them out. <laughs> and I promise to put you before myself and to place Christ as our center. Parker Horn, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live with her under the instruction of God's commandments in the holy estate of marriage? Will you love her and offer your life and service to her so long as you both shall live? I do. And Ariel, Sima, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live with him under the instruction of God's commandments in the holy estate of marriage? And will you love him and offer your life and service to him so long as you both shall live? Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> Parker, if you'll repeat these words after me. I, Parker Horn. I, Parker Horn. Take you, Ariel Sima. Take you, Ariel Sima. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And I do promise before God and these witnesses. And I do promise before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And Ariel, if you repeat these words, I, Ariel Sima. I, Ariel Sima. Take you, Parker Horn. Take you, Parker Horn. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And I do promise before God and these witnesses. And I do promise God before. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. <laughs> to be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and sorrow. In joy and sorrow. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Parker, if you'll take the rings that you have for Ariel and place them on her ring finger. And then repeat these words after me. This ring I give to you. This ring I give to you. As a symbol and pledge. As a symbol and pledge. Of constant faith and abiding love. Of constant faith and abiding love. And as this ring is an unbroken union. And as this ring is an unbroken union. So let this be. So let this be. Your constant reminder. Your constant reminder. Of the unbroken love I will have for you. Of the unbroken love I will have for you. And Ariel, if you'll take the ring that you have for Parker and place it on his ring finger. And repeat this word. These word. This ring I give to you. This ring I give to as you. As a symbol and pledge. As a symbol and pledge. Of constant faith and abiding love. Of constant faith and abiding love. And as this ring is an unbroken union. And as this ring as an unbroken union. So let it be. So let it be. A constant reminder. A constant reminder. Of the unbroken love I will have for you. Of the unbroken love I have for you. Now, as you join your hands together, we all join with them, Parker Horn and Ariel Sima, and witness that they have pledged their love to one another. They have done so with their vows. They have done so with devotion to one another and with their hearts, with the joining of their hands and the giving of receiving of their rings. Henceforth, by the authority committed to me in the church of God and by the laws of this state, I now pronounce them to be husband and wife. May God grant you with grace and grant that you may live long together in happiness and godliness. And hereafter, what God has joined together, may no man separate. 
Parker, you may kiss your bride. is a twin or has twins, you'll know there's an important distinction to make that I'm actually Parker's younger twin brother. <laughs> he has me by about a minute of very formative life experience. <laughs> it's, all, it's been just such a blessing to have you as a best friend my whole life. So I wanna thank you for that. And that's why I'm so extremely excited to be here today and, and be a part of your next journey as you and Ariel get married. Um, you know, you've found somebody that's going to put up with all those eccentricities. <laughs> you're, you're an amazing person, and Ariel's an amazing woman. Um, and I, I really have been touched by the fact that in the midst of all this crazy COVID stuff, you guys have stayed strong together and, and had joy through this whole process. traveled the world and found her soulmate, who is as quirky as she is. She found you. Parker, you are a beautiful, fulfilling, wonderful man. You bring out the best in Ariel. Ariel has always been an amazing daughter and friend. She is, will be more amazing wife, best friend, and mother. She's someone you always want in your life, always. She's someone you can be proud of. She always has a warm smile for you, and she will always understand your toughest days. You two will find that your own adventures together and understand a daddy's love for his daughter. May God's grace shine upon you and make your home a sanctuary of love, understanding, and fulfillment to each other. May Jesus always smile upon you, your friends and family. Congratulations, God has truly smiled upon you too. that this is what's meant to be. People have described Parker as a rock, an anchor, perhaps a sandbag, uh, something. But I've definitely thought of Parker as a rock. As I've hit some troubled spots with my friendships and relationships, Parker has always been there for me. And I really, really value that. 
To see the changes that Ariel has brought in his life has been amazing. When we went to Japan, I recall they had been dating three months maybe? And it was an absolute necessity to text, FaceTime, train, uh, just all the time. He was so into Ariel and that has not changed at all. In fact, I think it's gotten better. And so, Ariel, I just love to see what you've done with him all the times. <laughs> <laughs> That's neither here nor there. Uh, all that I've seen you two grow together over the last several years, really from the bottom of my heart, I believe that this is right for the two of you. And I'm so happy to see you guys living this best life. the opportunity to know Ariel, we have been so blessed with who she is as a person. You couldn't find somebody who's more strikingly beautiful, intelligent, strong-willed. When we think of somebody who could stay, stand up against Parker, that's Ariel. In many ways, the thing I love about this is Parker not only got somebody who's his equal, but I think Ariel's more than that, right? I think he's got his hands full as <laughs> he's going to be here with Ariel. But she's able to help him be a person that he wouldn't have been otherwise. She brings him out in just wonderful ways. We are thrilled to have the opportunity to see them come together because I think these two people, nothing can stand in their way. They are so gifted, each one of them, in so many different ways. So talented. It's, it, it's going to be amazing to see what they'll be able to accomplish together because I doubt anything will stand in the way as they as they as are so gifted to be able to charge forward in that. So we celebrate that. Nonetheless, we celebrate the opportunity and, and the years to come. So uh, thank you and cheers to them as they celebrate this time in their life. <laughs> Parker, welcome to the family. We are so lucky to have you. Really, it was so easy to accept Parker into the family. He's so insanely kind, genuine, supportive, and I love the way that you love my sister and the way that you care for her and how you're, you've been able to be her rock through these crazy couple of years. Um, it makes me so happy to know that I can count on you to love, support, and protect my sister. I know you truly have her best intentions in mind, which is actually probably my favorite thing about both of you is, and your guys' relationship is that you both make each other so happy and you know what makes each other so happy. You want what's best for each other and you go out of your way to make sure you both get what you need. You guys prioritize your relationship and have grown to be such a beautiful husband and wife that you are today. Um, I have loved watching your journey and I can't wait to see what's in store for you guys. I know your life will be full of endless laughs, lots of costume parties, thanks to Ariel. Um, I'm also sure you're, you'll face your fair share of trials and tribulations and there will be plenty of tears, whether happy or sad. Um, but at the end of the day, I know there will be mostly love.